Hello and welcome to Home Ownership, Section 1, Lesson 2, The Dark Side of Suburbia. Today you will read the text, The Dark Side of Suburbia, and explain how the suburban exodus changed race relations and gender roles. You will view the rise of the suburbs and evaluate the author's claim and reasoning, and you will write a response in which you identify and analyze the differing perspectives about suburbia. Let's take a look at our culminating writing task for this unit. Through reading of the unit text and additional research, develop an argument in response to the unit question. Is the dream of home ownership viable for all Americans within a more focused subtopic area? Using information from your reading, develop an argumentative thesis supported by a series of evidence-based claims, including at least one counter-argument to an opposing perspective or position. Organize your thesis, claims, and evidence into a unified, coherent, well-reasoned argument that addresses a specific purpose and audience. Here are our le learning targets for this lesson. Can you understand the impact of suburbia on America? Can you locate claims and analyze different perspectives in print and a visual text? For this lesson, you will need The Dark Side of Suburbia, The Rise of the Suburbs, and your reading response journal. Now we're going to briefly review the rise of suburban areas during the 1950s from the previous lesson. You will answer these questions in Nearpod. You will support your response with evidence from the video. Remember, the video is posted as a link in the Lesson 1 post. So here are the questions that you're going to be focusing on. Based on the video in Lesson 1, what is a suburb? Why do you think these, in other words, suburbs, exist in America? And how does this relate to the American dream? As you answer these questions, I want you to consider the following. Have you ever seen a suburb depicted in a movie or on television? What was it like? Why would suburbs come into existence after World War II? Why would people rather live in a home than an apartment? If you work hard enough, do you believe that any person can own a home in the United States? You will be answering these questions in Nearpod. You will have five minutes to complete this activity. <laughs> 